This video is about dynamic subtraction using the stamp game. My last video was dynamic addition where you're moving forward. In this case with dynamic subtraction, you're having to borrow from place values that are higher. One thing I like to try to tell my students is that some of what we need is hiding in the other place values. For instance, if I need more ones, I can find them by turning in a 10. If I turn in 110, 110 is equal to 10 ones. So I made notes here. So if I have a 10, I can break that into 10 ones. If I borrow from the hundreds, I can break that into 10 tens. And if I borrow from the thousands, I can break that into 10 one hundreds. So looking at my equation, I am at 9,634 take away 4,789. One main difference with dynamic subtraction as opposed to dynamic addition. With dynamic subtraction, you only have to build your top number. With subtraction, your top number is your total. The second number is your part that you know. That's the part you're going to be taking away. So all I have to do is build 9,634. So I'm going to be using my stamp game here. I'm going to pull out four ones. Four ones. Three tens. Six hundreds. And no, they're not perfect. They're not all turned over. That's the beauty of the stamp game. Knowing that place value and that color code is extremely helpful. And then I'm going with my nine thousands. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And with subtraction, we start with the biggest number. No, we always start with the biggest number with subtraction, but then we always start in the ones. So in this case, I have four take away nine. Well, I can't take away nine, I only have four. So I need some more ones. I need to find some more ones. Well, if I recall, looking here, if I turn in a 10, I can get 10 ones. So I'm gonna turn in one of my tens. I'm going to exchange one of my tens or cash it in and I'm going to get ten ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I always pull them out first separate. I don't want to count them in right away because I don't want to get myself confused about how many I've pulled out. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I have ten ones. Now I can push those in with my ones that were already there, the four that were already built. So now I have a total of 14 ones. I now need to take away nine. Two, four, six, eight, and one more makes nine. So I've taken away my nine. I put them back into the stamp game because I no longer need them. Moving over to my tens. According to my equation, I need to take away eight. Well, right now I only have two. So I need to find some more tens. If I recall, if I can go to my hundreds, I can borrow from my hundred and exchange a hundred to get 10 tens. So I'm gonna take one of my hundreds, put it in a stamp game, and I'm gonna grab out 10 tens. Two, four, six, eight, ten, ten tens. So I've, I've made sure that I pulled out my ten tens. Now I'm going to push them in to the number that I already had built, leaving me with a total of twelve tens now. I can now subtract my eight. Two, four, six, eight. So that twelve taking away that eight is going to give me my four. Moving on to my hundreds. Looking here in my equation, it says six taken away seven. Well, I don't have seven, so I have to find some more hundreds before I can take my seven out. 
Once again, I'm going to refer back here. I know that if I turn in a thousand, I can get ten hundreds. So I am going to turn one of my thousands in to get out ten hundreds. Two, four, six, need some more. Eight, ten. I now have ten hundreds laid out. So I'll put that up here with the number that I've already created. So now I need to take away seven according to my equation. Two, four, six, and one more makes seven. So I will remove that. And then finally, I'm over here at my thousands and I simply need to take away four. Well, good thing I have more than four so I can take away two, four thousands. And there's my answer. Four thousand, two, four, six, eight hundred, Forty-five. So I will write that down. My answer is 4,845. And that is how you do dynamic subtraction using a stamp game.